Okay, doing a little trading here today. I'm going to take a trade here. Let's go short. Calculating my out. Oh, that's higher than I thought. Boy, this thing's moving is what it is. It's moving. All right, let's see if I got this right. I'm going to put a break even stop on this 8148 by the way today is um, Wednesday October 15th Wednesday October 15th yeah I'm not liking the way this is first of all it's a lot lower than what I a lot higher than what I thought this thing's moving What am I in at? 49. 59. Man. It's definitely moving. Okay, in the interest of time, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the, the stop adjusted to 81.63. This thing's really moving this morning. I'm gonna be careful. I should have waited for a better setup. Mm. Mm. I think I'm gonna get clipped off here. Should have waited for a better setup. I, I could have waited for a code one uh, setup. That's what I should have did. Um, the setup so that they give multiple short entries. That's what I should have done. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, I just want to show you real quick that it got me. I didn't get the full 20. I was able to tighten it up a little bit. But uh, it got me right there. So I am going to... Oh, we can eliminate that one, by the way, for today. I'm going to come back, and I am attempting to get an entry into this to uh, take a big trade. Something is uh, not right today. <laughs> you can see the, the chart says uh, 34 and it's 42. It's um, There's some type of malfunction taking place here. I can't... Um, I'm gonna have to wait. I'll be back. Okay, I am continuing the trading here with some more code one entries. Trying to uh, make some money. I'll be right back once I take an entry. Okay, I've just taken a short entry to go short here. It's dropping out. I got kind of a bad position, but it's just dropping out here. Should be an easy 20 ticks. Come on. Should be an easy 20 ticks here. 10 minute looks very good. 10 minutes going down on the 10 minute after topping for a while. So it looks very good. Like it's on its way down right now. We've got, let's see, we've got, well, we've just got one, one short entry right now. So I'm going to hold this right here. And uh, we'll see what the next one brings, if it says short or long, but hopefully it'll say short. If it does, it'll go down and make it to the exit, no problem. So I'm going to come right back and I will show you the progression and of course the outcome of this trade. Now it's almost there. It might just drop here. I think it's going to. Come on. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, I think it's going. Almost there. What am I at? 45? It went down to 49. Almost there. Okay, I'll come back. I am just going to let it go though because it's going with the 10 minute right now. 
so we're we're in a code one to go short going with the ten minute. Don't want to get out of those. Those should be able to make it where they go to forty seven. I'm at forty five. Almost there. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Gotcha. Almost there. Come back. Okay, it's going back up here on me and see what uh code one says here. I think I'm gonna have to get out. Yeah, I gotta get out. Alright, this thing wants to be really tricky today. Okay, I'll come right back. We'll take another entry. It's gonna be tricky. It's a tricky one. It doesn't want to just keep going down. Almost made it to the exit though, <laughs> so close. See, sometimes it can be like that, trading, you know. It's alright, I'm gonna start taking some more entries here. It's just, it's tight right now on the chart. If you didn't hit the original or the main code 2 today, and it went 180 ticks, if you didn't hit that right away, right off the bat, because it went up very quickly. Um, it's been chopped <laughs> pretty much the rest of the time. It got one good move, one one small good move. The rest of the time, it's been chopped before and then after that little move. But uh, so it's just having trouble hitting some exits here. But um, you know, keep trying to hit them. You'll be able to hit them. It's tricky though. I'll be right back. Okay, I have taken a long position here. Let's see what this thing's going to do. Just calculating my out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I set my stop for 60. It's already coming down to that now. It looks like I've got it wrong. Yep, I do. They've got it offset. <laughs> They're th 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 throwing in a lot of tricks, I'll tell you that. A lot of tricks. They got it offset. Yeah. I'm going to have to cover that in the charting and show how they're doing this. And we'll have to analyze it mathematically and look at it. And we'll see what we'll break what the matrix is for it. Because that is definitely something that they've thrown in. And, it's, and they're, doing, they're doing it so that we can uh, account for it. So. I have to start demonstrating that now. Okay, so I'll come back and take more trades. One good thing to keep watching is the 10 minute chart. You see how the 10 minute was moving here, moving, moving, then it went into chop, some chop, then moving, and then this was this was this morning took off. And ever since it took off and made a tie, it's just been chop. And then it made one move, came up, and then it's just been chop. Up and down, this choppy. It's very hard to hit your exits just right in this chop. So it can be difficult, but um, I'm going to keep taking entries because it's going to break one way or another soon, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, I'll be able to hit some trades and even come out on a green day after having such a bad loss. And I'll take the one trade per day strategy, which is batting over 90%, so should be able to get, hit that one too. Okay, I'll come back. But just to reiterate, the reason why I'm down is because it's choppy, and because they got me on the last trade, it was it was offset. But it, in in retrospect, it it's hard to tell if it's 
Well, no, it's definitely off, but it's hard to tell if that's even is the code. It probably isn't. Um, but it's so choppy that it's hard to tell what is. And so that's a problem. But it's really, really, really choppy up and down. That's the reason why I'm losing. So you can see a pattern here where it's the, it's the choppy days where when I'm losing. So there's a couple of strategies you could use for this. A, you could wait for it to break out of the range one way or another, above or below, and then start taking code 1 entries. B, you can wait for a code 1 setup of, let's say, at least two different code 1's going in the same direction, and possibly even three. That will give you a good setup. And most likely it will have broken the range by that time anyway. So that will give you a good setup into a good trade going one way or another. And then if you can't get it, then just don't take a trade. And then you could just take the one trade per day strategy coming up. But you could see, if you were just taking the one trade per day strategy and nothing else, you'd be doing nothing but making money not losing anything, not going down like this, not getting caught in the chop. So for the for the beginners and the newbies, I think that's by far the best and easiest trade there is to take. That's what that's what every newbie should be taking just so they could get off to a good start and make money. And then once you open up your account, and I mean once you get your account going really big and you start making money, you can afford these losing days to go after these big three thousand four thousand five thousand dollar days relative to this so <clears throat> but uh, so that was a good strategy because if you keep taking code one entries and it keeps staying in this range all it's going to do is keep getting you so the best thing to do then is just to wait for it to break out of the range and then even wait for a setup. Because if it's going to go one way or another from this range, which is like 82 down to about, mm, let's call it 8150 roughly. Yeah, right down here. Okay, let's call it about 45. So, you know, 60 tick range in here needs to break one way or another. And if it does that, it's going to give code 1 entries to go the same direction anyway. So by default, you, if you wait for that and it comes and you take it, the mathematics are going to be very high on it. Otherwise, it's just chop city in here. And we can just wait to the one trade per day strategy. And at least then I could get back about a thousand and just go down about 880 today. You always think in terms of that, you know? Minimize your losses when you can. Don't push it. Think in terms of that. Think in terms of strategy in business, not in like what you can do every day. But it's time to play protect mode now. You know, because we're in this chop. I should have waited earlier. Being so stubborn, but I almost hit the exit. Came just a couple ticks away and ended up losing. And then took another trade and got suckered into that one. It, but it's just because of this job. Anyway, I'll come back. And I'm going to do the strategy that I just recommended. Which is to wait for it to break one way or another. Or to get a code one set up. All going in the same direction. And then I'll take it. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait for the one trade per day strategy. And I'd like, and just to teach you. On a losing day, don't try to push it. All it's going to do is turn into a worse day. Because of the chop. You have no idea when this chop is going to stop. Still, it's right dead smack in the middle of the chop right now. Take a look at it. Look at this. It's right dead smack in the middle of the chop. Right here. Look at it. You know, it's just a lot of chop up and down. 
Who knows when that's going to stop? And part of it, I can explain it to you. Let me try to teach you something here a little bit. It's because of this. Because we just bottomed out on the daily chart. And now it's like chop to think of it like as um, consol consolidation. To, to see if it's going to go higher or if it's going to go lower. And there's a bunch of chop there at, for con to consolidate. Because if this was really trading, that's, that's pretty much what it would do. It, it would, well, not necessarily, but it, it very well might do that. It'll have it go through consolidation periods where the buyers and the sellers are, are so close to each other competing in the sense that they want to go up or down that it's making it choppy going back or back and forth because it's like 50 50 rather than one way or another at any one given time so it's a bunch of chop that's what it, it's what it's basically simulating okay but anyway uh that's what we're caught into and it does that at certain periods of time especially after big moves like the, like it like it made and it made a it made a hundred and eighty tick move up today all right, boom, and that's why the, the chop, the consolidation. But it's coming down here now. If it breaks below this area here, right there, it'll break out of this range. We can start taking code one entries again, and especially looking for a setup. You get that? I'll take it. No problem. Those are high percentage trades. But just going one way or another, you get caught in the chop, which I've been caught into. Came close. A few ticks away from hitting it, but a few ticks away doesn't doesn't cut it, does it? <laughs> you either hit it or you don't. It makes a big difference. Okay, I'll come back. By the way, how you handle your losing days will be how you, whether or not you make it. Think about that. You're going to have losing days. And there's nothing mathematically you can do about it to stop that. But can you minimize your losing days? And keep them from getting totally out of control? I mean, you know, if you're a brand new trader and you went down that much, it would be best for you to just stop right here. Don't trade no more. You know, um, that's why, you know, what I'm going to do is for I'm gonna recommend the one trade per day strategy for all newbie traders because that is by far the easiest and is by far the best trade it has not lost in the last like 10 times 11 times 12 times it's not lost every day it has won 20 ticks I used to go for more like 40 and not hit it a lot and then I'd go for 30 and I'd hit those quite a bit and, then, and, and 30 ticks is good but then I realized, I said, well, you know, if you just go for 20 every time, it makes it every time. Every time, 100%. Except for the times when it loses, then when the trade just loses, period. Then it, you know, loses 20. But every other time, it makes 20 every time. So it's better mathematically just to go for 20 every time. That way you have a very high percentage mathematical trade. Then you can control it with your contracts. So for all newbie traders, I'm going to start recommending this trade. And for the advanced traders, I'm going to see if there isn't a mathematical calculation based upon the same uh, fundamentals as the second go to trade. And if there is, I'm going to try to break it. And if there is, I'll start teaching it. And I think there might be one. So... What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to come back. This thing still has not broken out of the range. It's still in the chop. I'm not going to take any entries until it comes out of the chop. I'll come back for the one trade per day strategy, though, because that thing is batting 100% out of the last 10 times. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. And it's so easy to take, too. Very logical, very easy, very simple. Anybody can take it. It's even easier than the code one, which as you can see isn't so easy all the time. But it's always the chop. Always notice on my losing days, it's always this chop. Not always, but I'd say 
80, 90 percent of the time. It's always the chop. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, it's broken out of its range here. Can be free to take some entries using code one. I could also wait for a setup. It would be, let's see, one. It would be two if it goes short. Two, two uh, code one entries to go short. If it, if it goes short. Remember, I said you want to wait for two. This would be two. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's uh, going up here, and I'm just going to wait to see if it will give another code one entry to go short. Uh, if it does, that would make two of them to go short. Right now, so far, we do not have that. So I'm just patiently waiting for a chart set up right now. I'll come back. As you can see, though, after moving down, it moves back up. Chop. Even though it broke out of the range, it's still choppy so far. But it's still in a downward trend, so if it gives a short entry and starts coming down, then it'll be good. It looks like it might do that too. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I've taken a short entry. Go short here. Calculating my out just in case. Okay, I am out. I forgot about that. They have it offset. <laughs> they have it offset. Hang on a second. Let's see what this is going to do. <laughs> I believe I forgot that. That's bad. I need to write that down. Turn on here. Go short. Should be a quick drop. Just gonna go for 20, nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. I'll take more entries, try to get back even. I mean, I could try to go for more on this trade, but I don't want to. I want to just keep it controlled at 20. Come back slowly. Should be able to hit this trade. Come on, come on. Why is it so hard to hit these trades? Man, this choppy day is just terrible. It really is. Okay. There it goes again. Here goes the chop. Man, it's like the chop just will just tear you up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Calculating my out. Readjusting the stop to 3.6. This is ridiculous. It's just, it's this chop. It's just this chop. I cannot believe this though. How choppy it wants to be. I mean, it just doesn't want to follow a, di a direction. Who wants to trade the one trade per day? <laughs> You know, I think I may have to become an advocate of that one trade per day strategy every day because it's batting 100% over the last trades, over the last 10 trades. Come on. 
Let me see here. Where is the code at? Alright, I'm going to come back. Okay, it's moving down, but all this chop, I'm not going to take a chance. Preparing stop at 8120. Stop. 81.20. Is it going to hit me? 81.20 on the stop. Preparing it now. Stop is in place. Not going to take a chance with all this chop. Where are we at? Where's the code? Oh, come on. Don't bounce on me right now. Go down one more time. I'll exit. Okay, there you go. I'll exit. Okay, I'm out. Take that right there. It's too choppy. I'll take, I'll take that right there. I'm not going to sit there and play games with that thing to my exit when it keeps missing me by a few ticks. Over and over and over again. Go with, go with the pattern. You see what I'm saying? Watch it go up now and miss me just by a few ticks. That's why I just said forget it. I'll just take it. You gotta, sometimes you gotta fight. Today's one of those days because it's so choppy. So, I got my back, I got myself back a little bit with one trade there. Okay, now I'm gonna try to take another precision level trade. Not gonna try to push it here. And I'm going to try to get another 20 ticks successful. Hmm. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh well, don't worry. I'll be able to get into another trade and make another 20 ticks and, up, and then I'll be closer to break even. And then I'll take the uh, um, one trade per day and I'll come out uh, ahead today after going down so far. But doing it controlled, not getting out of control. Okay, I'll be back. But I just wanted to point something out. You see, my strategy worked. I said I would wait for it to break. Out. Let's go take a look at the 10 minute. Let me go show you something. We were here in the chop, right? And we were in the middle of the chop. And I said, wait for it to break one way or another, here or here. It did. It broke here. And then I said, okay, let's start taking some code one entries. I took it. I was able to hit a successful trade. So now it's broken out. Now it will most likely, it most likely won't go into that chop. See the chop here, chop here? Most likely won't go into that chop. It might though. It might. But most likely not. Because we're getting close to, to another code two. And it'll probably stay pretty active from here on out. So we can probably take code one entries and do fairly well from here on out. Plus take the, the code two. We could probably hit a big trade on that code two. It's been, it's been running pretty big. But I'm just going to go for the 20. Controlled every day. My well, thing's really dropping. I'll tell you, oil has been making some 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 crazy moves. We just gotta jump on it and go with the crazy moves. You know? Realize that it's gonna start making, hey, th this thing might really start heating up. We need to start watching all the, all the code twos because it might really start heating up here. I mean, it looks like it just in the action. This thing's heating up. And we may have to start adjusting the stops. So that, you know what that means for you, uh, newbie traders out there? It means the, the, the ante is gonna go up. So, you guys, that are getting involved, you need to get involved now. <laughs> Start making your money now. Because this game is going to become a game of, ooh, man. I used to play with 50 tick stops. Because it would move 30, 40 ticks in a couple seconds. That's how fast it used to be. So. But, but 50 tick stops with $5 exits. How's that sound? <laughs> He's not going, 56 stops, that's huge. Yeah, but $5 exits. <laughs> it's a whole other world. I can't do that now because it's too tight. It's too, it doesn't move up and down enough, but it's start, starting to. It's not there yet, but it's definitely heating up. You say, it's going down, it's not heating up. No, it's heating up. It's trading. It's going up and down. That's all we want, all we care about. Okay, I'm going to come back and take some more entries. Okay, I have taken a long position here. See what it's going to do. Just want to calculate my out. 
Okay, I've got it. Setting the stop now. Putting the stop at 72. Alright, come on. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's moving up here and I'm going to prepare a break-even stop at 80.87. 80. Eighty point eight seven on the stop. Where are we at on the code? Man, this thing is choppy. This thing is just so choppy. Come on. Oh my uh, I can't believe this. Alright, let me uh take a look at something here, okay. Man, I can't believe this thing is just <laughs> really choppy today. Oh. I'd really like to get this break even. If it goes up again, I'm going to put it up there. Let me see here. What's it doing? Calculating my out. Okay, I've already got the stop in place, so I'm good to go. I can just let it go here. This thing's either going to go up or it's going to go back down and hit my stop. One of the two. It is really choppy here. As you can see. Once a choppy day, always a choppy day. Not necessarily, but today is proving to be true. Okay, I need to go check something and I'll be right back. This is going to give me a chance to uh, put a break even stop on it. Okay, I need to come back. I'll be right back. Okay, preparing a break-even stop at 80.87. 80. 80.87. 80. <laughs> this thing... Okay, is it going to roll over here? You know what? I'm going to jump out. As soon as it jumps above my price, I'm going to jump out. It just looks like it's going to roll over. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to go up here. I need to get real protective on this trade though. I may just want to jump out. Yeah, let me jump out right here. I want to take a chance on this thing. It looks like it's going to roll over. Whatever it is, it's just so choppy today. I mean, that doesn't look like big uh, to you on the screen, but that's a big move. These are big choppy moves it's making. The 20 tick stops are like nothing because it's because of the range of its movement. That's why on a, on if it, if it's going to keep continue to move this big, 400 ticks yesterday, 180 ticks straight up this morning, um, you know, if it's going to start moving up and down like this, I mean, even from the top, it's moved from 82 all the way back down to 8070. It's moved 130 ticks back down. So it moved 180 ticks back up. Then it moved 100 ticks down. Then it moved 100 ticks back up. And now it's moved 130 ticks down. I mean, this thing's range is like huge for the day. And these 20 tick stops and everything are just not cutting it trying to free trade the codes. If it's going to continue to make this kind of a movement, then you, then you have no choice but to mathematically figure out what code one is to take those precision level entries to keep your mathematics high. Otherwise, what you're doing is, is you're trading one to one. And, you know, that, that doesn't work when you're free trading. That works when you're, when you are doing precision level entry. In other words, you've mathematically figured out what the code is. You're not free trading it like I've been doing. See, normally I've been free trading it, but I can cut my loss short like 10 ticks. Keep my loss down to 10 ticks, then I hit a winner, hit 20. Keep my loss down to 10, hit a winner, hit 20. Because the range was small. Now I can't do that. The range is too big. It's the range is 20 ticks. If I, if I want to get in, it's a 20 tick loss. If, I, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, if I'm wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's why it's increased the ante here. 
because of the range. Now, sure, you can hit your exits real easy, but uh, if you've got it wrong, you hit your exit, you hit your stop real easy too. So you've got to get it right. Two two things: a, you got to get it right, got to mathematically figure out what the code is. B, you can don't get stuck in the chop. If it starts looking like it might get choppy, just back off and wait till it breaks out of that range again, then get back in it again. And now I would be right. Oh man, this thing is killing me. It's just so choppy up and down. I'd be I'd be right. Well, I wouldn't have made the exit yet, but it, I'd be up towards going the right way here. Oh, it's just a tough day. But the code was right. The code did not get broken or anything. I just bailed out. It shouldn't have. I'd be right. I'd be making a winning trade. Matter of fact, I'd almost be out here, I think. Let's see, where was I in at? I was in roughly about 86. Yeah, I'd be out there for 20 ticks. So I just would have made 20 ticks right there and said I got caught. I got caught for a, for a loss too, instead of a win. Well, the code wasn't wrong. It was just me. Just doing a bit of struggling in, in, the, in, the, in my trading, you know. Just having a little bit of a bad luck where things just aren't coming out quite right and stuff like that. But, guess what? I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to keep coming out, using the code, doing the best I can, and you'll see that I'll get right back on track and start making successful trades. And um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back for the one trade per day strategy, which is batting 100% right now for the last 10 trades, and uh, see if I can't get it back to about 800 for the loss for today. So I'll just be able to keep my loss down to 800 for today, call it a day, and then tomorrow it'll be a whole new day again okay so I'll be back for the one trade per day strategy okay I've gotten a good uh, code entry here to go short I'm gonna go ahead and take it I got it offset today Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get out right there. It looks like it's going back into the chop again. In fact, that is a buy entry. That's just going into the chop again. See this right here? It's just so choppy today. Wow. Okay, I'll come back. Now, if I just would have held my short entry, I would have made the 20 ticks. Instead, it, it's so choppy, it, it made me think it looked like it was going to go up, and it didn't. It just went down. On the other one, I took a long entry, and it looked like it was going to go down because it's so choppy, and it didn't. It went up. Both trades, I would have made 20 ticks. Instead, I'm sitting here down, struggling, because I guess I'm not used to the range of the chop and the range of the of the motion and it's it's ticking back and forth in such a large range right now much larger than what it's been doing for a long time for a long time I mean listen this thing went went 400 ticks down yesterday I haven't seen 400 ticks and <laughs> I'm not sure how long but it's a long time years and today it's a hundred eighty ticks up, it's a hundred ticks back down, it's a hundred ticks back up, and then it's a hundred and thirty ticks down. That's a lot of ticks. One eighty up, one one hundred down, one hundred up, one thirty down. That is a lot of ticks in one day for the oil market to move. Just like yesterday. So the rain, the way it's moving so much is by ranging high in its tick level. Alright? And this is what's throwing me way off here. 
and plus then it went into a, an, a into a uh, choppy range which really messed me up and so the only you cannot free trade something like this because you're because you're one to one at that point you don't want to do something like that you don't want to you don't want to free trade and be have a lower mathematical percentage and be one to one no way you need to get the math high if you're going to be one to one and uh, so the only way to do that is to mathematically figure out what the code is so I will be forced into having to do that every day I won't be able to free trade it like I've been doing um, except for I will I can try to get into code the the uh, first code two if I want or I can easily take the the one trade per day code two that's I could take that almost blindfolded but uh, the code one the only way to play the code one then in this type of a market situation is to mathematically figure out so you know what it is so that your math is high every time you enter really really high otherwise uh, you know you, you, it's more like it would be more like gambling see the range see the ticks and it's moving up and down this thing is really starting to uh, heat up alright I'm gonna come back we're gonna take this trade by the way if I would have taken the last code one entry <laughs> it was an easy 20 ticks easy and quick 20 ticks you know on bad days it's just the way it seems to work out you know you don't you take the wrong ones you miss all the good ones and you think to yourself why does that happen well <laughs> you can see it happens to me too it happens to me too so what should you do beat yourself up no always remember tomorrow is a new day don't try to you know fix today today is just a a broken day for you or for me today I can speak for myself it's broken for me I'm not gonna try to fix it I'm not gonna sit there and go oh boy I should have took the trade I should have took the trade even though I should have took the trade <laughs> but I'm gonna take the code two, uh one trade per day strategy which is batting 100% over the last 10 trades and that'll be a good trade for me to get myself closer to to break even so I'll be back shortly to take that trade oh but rest assured when I come out trading tomorrow you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out tomorrow and I'm gonna try to hit the uh, fir uh, first USA uh, code 2 uh, for 100 ticks I'm gonna try to hit that tomorrow and also let's say I don't hit it for whatever reason or whatever I'll start playing code one and what, I, what I'm going to do though is I'm not going to free trade it I am going to figure out what it is and then I'm going to take precision level entries into it because it's moving too much to uh, to free trade it so I'll be back shortly okay I just uh, figured out what the code is today <laughs> it's got a huge shock you're not going to believe this. If you know what the code was today and you took each trade, the trades aren't worth 20. The trades are worth like 50. 50 ticks each trade. You believe that? 50 ticks each trade. All you need to know is the exact code. Yeah. That's how much oil is moving right now. It, this thing is really moving. So you don't realize it when you're looking at it like this. But this thing is really moving. Like, look, here's 88, 80, 88. And now it's almost at 81, 88. It's just moved up another 100 ticks. I mean, this thing went up 100 t 180 ticks, down 100 ticks, up 100 ticks, down 130 ticks, now up almost 100 ticks. This thing is really moving. You, I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, we, we have to mathematically figure out what the code is. Because the, the movement is too large. You're playing one to one too large. You don't, you shouldn't be playing one to one. We shouldn't be, if the exits are hitting 50 hit tick exits, no problem. 
then you shouldn't be playing one to one like this. You need to hit the exits. Listen, uh, we need to get more serious about this. Uh, th this thing is starting to heat up. Uh, I'm going to bring out the charting service and we're going to, I'll do it and we're going to uh, mathematically figure out the code every day. Get 10 times more serious about this than what I have been. I really think oil is going to start heating up. Forget about all the news, what the news says. Don't pay no attention to that. If you wanted to pay any attention to that at all, whatever they say, think the opposite. Just do that. Whatever they say, think the opposite. And you'll do pretty good most of the time. So don't pay attention to what they're saying, though. Pay attention to what oil is doing, not what they're saying. So, and watch out for, you know, reversals. We could be at a bottom right here. We could have set a bottom at 80, and we could be going up now in a big way. Here comes 100. Here comes 110, 120. Forget about what they say. Just pay attention to what oil, but don't have any expectations. Just pay attention to what it's doing. Simple as that. Follow the codes, follow code twos. There's a lot of ways that you can play this thing. We could be at a bottom here. You'd be looking to see what the next code two is going to bring. Like, for instance, this one. What if this code two brings a buy entry? So let me show you. So let me show you. Let's talk about this. I'm going to teach this to you. Okay, let's look at the daily chart. All right? Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now you see where we are in the daily chart. Whoa! All right, now we hit a big line down, down to 80, right? What if this were a bottom? What would it look like? What would happen? Well, let's take a look at the 10 minute chart. Notice on the 10 minute chart where we are. Here's the day, right? Here's today, October 15th, so it's gone this. There's a USA session here, and it's been going up and down the USA session, all right? What about if it gives a buy entry, like let's say here, off of code 2 to go long? Well, that would only be like about 40 ticks up for, to the top. So there's a chance this thing could actually break this top off that code 2 and then go even higher. Vice versa, let's say it gives a short entry. Well, if it gave a short entry, oops, if it gave a short entry, What's that? That's the one minute. Let me take a look. Let's look at the daily. You know, it would sort of just be a continuation of the daily. But on the 10 minute, you see, it's not really because it most likely wouldn't go all the way down here on the. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't even come close to doing that. So it would just be a short 20, you know, 30 penny trade, a tick trade on a, on a short entry. But a long entry, long entry's got more juice. It could, it could go up. Because if it were to break right there, break that level, then it could start a, a, a green bar and start its way up. You see, off the bottom. You could catch bottoms like that. You could actually catch bottoms like that. Let's say this thing does give a code 2 entry and it does go up and break. You could hold that and try to see if you can't catch a bottom. Now, it probably won't because it'll probably tomorrow come down and bottom again. And it'll play around down here probably for a while and then go up. If it's if it's going to go up, it won't make it so easy. But sometimes it does, but probably wouldn't. But you could still just use the codes to take entries to take certain risks. This one would be a decent risk if it broke and gave a give a long entry, especially if it started really getting bullish. Then you could say, hmm, might want to hold this one. Anyway. Let's go ahead and focus in and um, we'll go ahead and take this trade. Take a one trade per day strategy. And this trade is batting 100% over the last 10 trades. That'll give me one last trade to get myself a little bit better for today. Not such a big loss. Okay, I'll be back shortly to take the trade. We do need to start watching the range on this trade and start measuring it because you know there may come a point where going for 20 ticks becomes kind of silly when it starts doing 50 every day or even a hundred but most likely it would go back to doing 50 and because it did that for quite a while so uh, 50 a day is not bad you can shoot for 40 every day and get it that's twice as much as 
20. So, there may, may come a point here real soon where we'll, we'll increase it, like maybe even at least to 30. I'll be back. Okay, I've taken a long position here. It's choppy. I'm up at 08. 08. Let's see, where does that put it up? Yep, let's just go for the 20. <laughs> let's see how choppy this thing is. It is crazy choppy. Where's my stop at? Oh man, I should have used a halfback technique. You're going to see the first loser on this thing. Wow. Okay, wait a second here now. Wait a second here now. Wow, what a, what a bad day. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set a good example here. And I'm going to stop trading. This is just a very bad day. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to wait for this trade to get over with because I want to see if this trade works today or if it loses today. Because I want to update update that on the record. Um, it Just because I lost doesn't mean the trade lost because the range is fairly large again. And it would be appropriate to use a halfback technique on this particular one, which I got caught. If If it, if it goes up and makes it to the exit or if it goes down now then it would be one that did not work today but if it goes up and continues to go up here and breaks this high and goes up to, to what the exit would normally would be it's a successful trade it's just that I got caught on the stock now what's happening here now is I'm gonna have to change my whole entire um, how do you how do you call it um, tempo of trading this thing is really moving in a range you're gonna to have to start accounting for that it's going up and down in this large range much much larger than what it's been doing in fact I have not seen oil move this much in a long time it's weird that it's killing me though it's so weird Watch, watch this thing go up and go break and be a successful code to trade today. It's just that I got caught on the stop, the half back stop. That's why I was saying before, when that, if that starts happening, then you're going to have to start playing those. In other words, if you keep getting that stop hit, stop hit, stop hit, you're going to have to calculate for that and say, okay, I'll just play the half back technique now and then get in and then the stop won't get hit and then, and then I'll make the successful trade. Because this was classic half back right there and then get me. Classic. It just hasn't been happening for quite a while. But now it just did because the range is so big. That's why. So you're going to have to start accounting for this range now. The good thing about that though is, is that you can also open up the range. Like for instance, code 1 is good for 50 tick exits today. 50 tick exits. Forget about this 20 tick stuff. See, because I've been using free trading the overall code hitting 20 ticks because that's what it's been doing. Well, guess what? It's just changed. Now, now we're going 50 ticks off the real code. Is, it, is that worth it to figure out what the real code is? Yes. <laughs> In a major way. So that's what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start just mathematically figuring out what the real code is. No more free trading the code because I'm getting tore up doing that today and it's just going to be like that because of the mathematics every trade you take is going to be one to one now if you can only hit a 60 percent success ratio that's not you're not going to do too good in fact today I'm not even hitting 60 so I'm coming out down right but if you can hit a 66 percent success ratio but your stop is 10 and your and your exit is 20 you come out way ahead that's what I've been doing free trading it and then some days I'll come out really way ahead by hitting a 70 80 percent and even a hundred percent and come out way way ahead but in, in order to trade this kind of action you've got to figure out what the code is 
and then you can nail not only can you nail every trade but hit it for 50 ticks so that's what I'm going to demonstrate um, from now on show I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to show you the outcome of this trade. I'm going to wait for a while and show you the outcome of this trade to show if this trade worked or not and if I just got my stop hit really quick or not. Because that's probably what happened. I'll be back shortly. By the way, I've just taken a code one short entry here. Code one short entry. I don't know. This trade might not be successful for the code two. Because that's a code one short entry right there. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Right now, I am looking at the chart in 100% total disbelief. I'm, I'm wondering if there's something wrong with me or if there's something wrong with the chart. Because there's something wrong with one of us. Right now. Right now. The code 2, one trade per day, has not even given an entry yet. What? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is either wrong with the chart, or I need to... Uh, Go see a doctor or something because something is wrong. What is going on? I, I don't understand this. Okay, well, one thing I can do is I can go back into this video and go look and see what I was doing because according to the chart, I shouldn't even be in yet except for off the code one entry right there I, I, I don't understand this I, I something has got to be wrong I must have miscalculated on my original yeah all right, it, it, you know what it is? It's the range and these ticks. It's they're they're killing me. I I'm, I miscalculated. I don't believe it. I don't believe I did that, but I apparently did it. All right, so wait a second here now. Let's recalculate this thing. Okay. Hmm. So if I've got that right, that would be 40 ticks. Let me put this at a 40 tick exit. 81.27 on the limit. Uh, limit putting it at 81.27. 81. 81. 81.27 on the limit. No, 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 no. What's the wrong one? I don't like this new system. 81.27. Okay, limit in place at 81.27. That's a 40 tick exit here that I'm going for. Just calculated using the um, using the code and mathematics. If it goes short, that's where it'll go. Um, I can't say if it's going to go short yet, though. It hasn't given an entry yet. That's just it. I shouldn't even be in this trade right now. 
except for code one, except for, but that, that's not, that's not the trade though. You don't go for code one off of this. You go for code two. And code two hasn't given an entry. Isn't that weird? It, it, it's, it's because of the range. It, it, I was seeing something that wasn't there. Man, Wait, you code traders, you see what I've done? Now, now I can see. Won't be so confused. I know. I tell you, I can't believe I just did that. I've never. I don't know. I don't think I've ever done it before. I've never done it before. I don't understand. But wait a second, though. That doesn't make no sense. If that's there, then why am I? Why is my position right there? That does not make no sense at all. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. It can't possibly be right. Something has changed. They've changed something right in front of my eyes. They changed something. Go back and look at the video. It's not possible. Go back and look at the video. They've changed something. I'm going to go back and look at it. There's, there's no way. There, there, my, my, my entry would not be right there. There's something is massively wrong. Wait a second now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, man. Okay, I do need help. I took a second position off of code one. My original position was to go long, but wait a second, no, but I never should have went long. Okay, okay, I got it. And then I got stopped out, but that's just it. I never should have went long. What was I looking at? Oh, man. I can't believe I did that. I really don't believe I just did that. Well, that goes to show you that uh, you better be paying attention to what you're doing. One little wrong move send you the wrong direction. I should never have taken the trade. I never would have gotten stopped out. I'd still be waiting right now. But you remember I told you about the real code? The real code one, we're in a real code one short entry. And remember I said it's good for 50 ticks? We're going for 40 ticks. And if it goes down 20 ticks, it's going to be a code two short entry. And then we'll make it 20 ticks from there. So this 40 tick uh, exit should be in the bag. Assuming it's going to be a code two short entry. But it hasn't given a uh, signal yet. I wouldn't even be in this trade yet, long or short. Never would have gotten in. I don't, can't believe I did what I did. And now I have it fixed so that I won't make that mistake again. I'm going to go back and watch this video though because I just, I just can't believe I did that. I want to see where my mistake was. Or if this chart is off. I don't know. I'll see. I'll be back. By the way, I've tightened up the stop to 79. It's taking a dive here. Gonna tell you if it's gonna be a code 2 entry. It's a code 2 entry. Code 2 entry to go short right there. Should be able to hit 20 ticks from right there. No problem. So my 40 ticks should be able to get hit. I've, I calculated that in, uh, in advance. Where's my, where's my exit at? My exit's at 27. Entry's at 67. That's right. I calculated that in advance already. I was anticipating that that, that is what it would do based upon the code one entry because I figured out what the real code is today. They've got 50 tick exits on them. And then on top of it, I knew that if it went down, it would be a code two entry to go short, which it just did. So, but let me see here. How much did it go by? Uh, okay, it has not gone 20 ticks. So, I should be able to hit my exit at the 20 ticks. No problem. 
So I am holding for my exit to be hit. I know it's really super choppy, but technically the code 2, one trade per day, has just been activated to go short. The, the one I took earlier. <laughs> I have no idea. I was look I was wasn't looking at the right thing, that's for sure. And um I wasn't following the rules of the trade. I was obviously confused. But anyway, I've got it now and uh it's to go short and my exit is basically at the 20 tick exit already I calculated that in already so everything is perfect all I have to do is just wait for the 40 ticks to go off it's, it's, it should go off with pretty much mathematical precision because not only does the code 1 say it will today because that's its range today but so does the code 2 <laughs> both codes say it's going to hit my exit today so you know, I'm not doing that to try and save my account or anything like that. I'm simply doing it because it's mathematics. There's a huge difference. And so uh, you would have went short off of the uh, code 2 somewhere around, well, let's just say you would have got in somewhere around 46 or so. So you needed to go down 46, tw down to 26. Came close right there, but you needed to go to 26 to hit the exit. And I needed to go to 27 to hit the exit. So we'll both be hitting the exit together. Okay? I will be back and show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. By the way, if you were in at 46, like I said, your stop held there. Uh, it went 12 ticks against you. This thing's moving. It went 12 ticks against you, but your stop held, 20 tick stop held. It's moving back down now. And we just need it to go down here to the bottom and break a little bit. And that's, those are our exits. It should be able to make it mathematically. It does it every day. So, I'll come back and show it to you. This is the power of figuring out exactly what the code one is and what its range is for the day and also using the code two properly, which I did a perfect example of how not to do on my previous trade. I can't believe I was thinking that it was a long entry when it didn't even give an entry at all. You don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. This thing's going to take a little while. You notice this thing's coming all the way back up close to my entry here. I'm not going to put a, a break even stop on it. Oh, by the way, uh, my entry is pretty much where your stop would be on this entry into this last trade. So if it, hits, if it goes up to my entry, it would hit your stop which is right about the halfback area. Yeah, my entry is right about the halfback area. I mean, this thing, when it makes this kind of range like this, where it not only does it want to make a big range up and down, but a big chop within the range up and down, you have to start accounting for that chop and start saying, okay, it's going to go here, but I need to get it up here. To, to count for the range some. That way you can still keep your stop small, but you gotta get your entries better. You can't just take the easy entries. You gotta take you gotta take a little bit harder entries. Think like the fox, where it's gonna go to before it makes its ultimate move, because it keeps chopping. Okay, I'll come back. But let's say you didn't get in at uh 46. Let's say you got it at 44. You'd be stopped right there. So that's your half back right there. So on this particular one, it looks like it is going to do a half back uh, trade and then it's going to go down here now. 
And so if it starts doing this a lot, where it does this halfback thing all the time, just follow the, you know, follow the pattern. Keep doing it. Keep following it. Keep taking that halfback and you'll hit it over and over. If it's not doing the halfback, like it's not been doing lately, follow the pattern. Don't take, don't worry about it. That's what I've been, I've been worrying about it because I've been following the pattern. But this is the first day right here. Actually, no, it has done a couple of halfbacks, but not too many. But with the range like it is, you're forced to do the halfback. Otherwise, you risk 20 tick, 20 tick stop loss. But just play the halfback every time, and then you'll increase your mathematics. You won't hit every trade, but you'll increase your math. But again, follow the pattern. This thing's just going to drop out here. Okay, I'll come back and show it to you. You can see, though, my exit is at 27, and it went down to 31. It came, you know, four ticks from my exit. Let's move down. Could have easily got me out right there, but eh, like today, it's just not a good day. Sometimes things just aren't working your way. But this exit right here should be able to make this no problem. Just remember, for the last 10 trades in a row, it's done it every day. So that's pretty good math. Uh, it's just that me, being an idiot, took the wrong trade this morning. I mean, took the wrong trade a little while ago. How stupid is that? I'll tell ya, I'm getting to wonder about myself. I mean, really, I looked at the chart and was like, what on earth is going on? You, you mean to tell me that, you know, I made that mistake? <laughs> wow. I, that's the first time I ever made a mistake like that at least that particular mistake lately I've been like hitting the hitting the sell or the buy button too early like it'll I'll think it like I'll think it will give me a signal to go long or short and I'll hit it and it does and I looked at it again and it doesn't I guess my eyes are playing tricks on me or something maybe that's what it is I don't know what it is I'm I don't get enough sleep, and then I wake up too early, and then I just get behind, and I don't know. Start making excuses, but ser seriously, I I'm working on like four hours of sleep last night. Five hours of sleep, but I don't do too good. Come on, come on. I know you're going to go break, so stop playing games. There it goes, finally. Okay, so, you see, I had a very bad day today. I was able to bring it back to, you know, a bad day. <laughs> Instead of it being a really bad day, I mean like a really bad day, it's just a bad day. So that's not bad. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, so I'm all done for today. You can see trading can be a challenge. But listen, I'm telling you, uh, all of you out there, you've been asking me lately, what's the, what do you mean by free trading the code? And I've been showing you and teaching you about free trading the code. Well, guess what? It looks like that might be over with unless it starts to slow back down again. But if it's going to continue in this type of a range, I mean, you, there's no way that you can free trade the code like that. Your math is all messed up at that point. You, you go, have to go back to go to doing it. To, you know, it's harder to figure out what the code is. It takes more time and it's harder. But once you've got it, you can nail every trade. So, oh, but you know, so so the uh, the um, code uh, two one trade a day is good for today. Um, the uh, it was also forty ticks on the last code one. Remember, I told you it's been running fifty ticks. It was just ran forty. Might run a little more here. Um. See, once you've got the right code, you can hit these huge trades. That's another thing you have to do is measure what it's moving. See, it's only been moving like 25 ticks or so. That's why I've been going for 20. But if it's going to move 50, it doesn't make any sense to go for 20, right? <laughs> doesn't make mathematical sense. It would, it would be get better to go for 40 and give yourself a little bit of a buffer there, a 10, pip, a 10 uh, tick buffer, but hit the 40 stick trades. And... Yeah, I mean, you just saw me take one. I was a code one. I didn't even know what code two was going to say yet. 
I just knew if it did, it would give a short and then it would be good for 20. That's why I calculated it at 40. Otherwise, I would have just went for 20. Even though it's been running 40, so I gotta get out of that framework of mine. You gotta change with it. Yesterday, this thing moved down 400 ticks. Today, 180 ticks up, 100 ticks down, 100 ticks up, 130 ticks down, 100 ticks back up. And now it's about 50 ticks back down. I mean, I've not seen oil move like this in, what year is it? 2014? I've not seen oil move like this at least since 2011. At least. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a little earlier, like 2010 perhaps. It's hard to be sure, but it is moving. It really is. The range is moving. Not necessarily the speed or the action isn't moving very fast. It's just the range. See, that's what's been throwing me off. Usually if it moves this much, it'll move faster. And it's not. The tempo is off. It's not moving as fast as relative to its range, which is weird. But and it doesn't show on the chart either. You have to measure it from the from the uh, price, 81.64 all the way down to 81.26, 40 tick right there, just on the one minute that you're seeing. The range is is large, and this is late in the day, 12:21 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I mean, this baby is moving. It's time to adjust the strategy a little bit. And um, and I don't know if this is going to keep up or not. But if it does, you must find the code. I will come out trading tomorrow. I'm going to try to hit the code 2, the big one. If I can't hit it, I'm going to go into code 1 mode. But the, I'm going to figure out what it is first. I will not free trade it in this type of a market like I tried doing today. Because every time I was wrong, I take I have to take these big losses. That just doesn't. And and then you start getting behind, and then you don't want to take a trade like I didn't, and then I missed one. I missed a few of them. I got out of a couple of them. They both worked. I just got all messed up today, and I shouldn't have. Just should have followed the code the whole time. I'd be doing great. But the chop is messing me up. So time to adjust to the chop now and to the range now okay I will be back tomorrow to hopefully be able to do a whole lot better than that we'll get back on track again but it's time traders to adjust for the range and for the chop and let's go out there and start using this code and not be afraid of it and we'll, we'll just let's figure out what it is mathematically number one a so we know what it is or we have a really super good idea we can nail it down number two if we're if we're if we are wrong we have to hold it until the code says it's wrong I know it's a big loss but you've got to do it because that way when you are right you're right and you hit it I I, I should have hit two of them today that was right on and I didn't hit them because I got out got scared and jumped out hmm? paid the price didn't I can't do that if you're gonna take a loss take a loss but don't miss the winner and how do you know if you how do you decrease your decrease your losses by figuring out exactly what the code is? That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow to show this to you, and you can absolutely mathematically figure it out. It's not a problem. It'll take me about well, it won't take that long, and then I'll have it. Sometimes it's easier than others. Sometimes the code's real super easy to figure out. Sometimes it's hard, harder. Yeah, sometimes it's actually pretty hard. So sometimes I don't even can't even figure out what it is. So. That's how hard it can be. But usually I'll always be able to figure out what it is, take trades off of it, and make money from it. No problem. I'll show it to you tomorrow. Have a good night out there. I'll see you guys, see you traders tomorrow.